Now, we, like I said, we've managed to relocate on the Nkuhumas, and the pride seems to be all spread out. And of course, well, Mr. Mfumo, with his beautiful big shaggy mane, has joined the party. Oh, hello, boy. Now, this is Amber Eyes, and you can see he's showing a lot of interest in her. Will she reciprocate? Only time will tell. But I think we're going to stick with them for a little bit and we'll come back to the rest of the pride. Anyway, let's see, I'm just hoping that they don't disappear around a bush, otherwise that won't be fun. Don't go behind the bushes. And we shall have a chat about his face. Right, I need to make a move very quickly. Gotta get there before they, if they do mate, before they do. No, VM, are you holding on? Watch your branch! He's, he's hiding behind. He just disappeared too quickly for us to keep up. Amber Eyes was not hanging around to wait for us to see the entire show. Next time we'll be quicker, but I think we'll have a better chance now because it's now very, very much open. And they can't do any dashing behind trees like they just did. And this is so interesting. But look at that, isn't that amazing? Both look very satisfied. Big yawns, big bellies. Life is good for the Nkuhumas again. But it's a problem with lions is that it's an up and down life all the time. Some days are better than others. Coming into summer can be a little bit difficult with the fact that all the animals, not the items, the animals that they prey upon start to disperse because there's so much food around. But they're back in action again. And I just think that's so incredible with everything that's gone on. And I'm still learning about amber eyes, but just how she keeps, whether she's coming into Eastrus properly, I'm uncertain, but she doesn't seem to be taking to any of the males, and she's been seen mating with them on numerous occasions. So this is, of course, very, very interesting. Now remember, this is a live safari, so if you have any questions for us, or if perhaps you've just stumbled across us and you're just joining in for the first time, welcome. So myself, James and Brent, we'd love to have chats with you and answer any of the questions that you do have for us. And you can do so by tweeting us uh, your messages and adding the hashtag Safari Live at the end. Or alternatively, you can send us an email, questions at wildearth.tv. But now let's have a look at his face. Now, for those of you who, who missed the myasis well, sort of scene that we had with Mfumo. There is a video that's on the Safari Live Facebook page that you can go and watch just to sort of do a bit of a catch up because it's sort of quite in depth as to what happened. But the short version of it is basically he got an injury on his face, either a bot fly or a screw worm fly laid its larvae inside his little wound. It then caused an abscess as the larvae were developing and it burst open and there were lots of maggots feeding on the live flesh. Eventually they would have fallen out and pupated and then turned into flies. And this happened a while ago and it's healed incredibly. We thought it was going to leave an even worse scar. Yes boy, we're talking about you. That's nice that he lifted his head up for us. And I said this about a couple of weeks ago. I said because it was such a bad wound, is that when that scab fall, it was probably and very easily going to be removed. Whether he was marking his territory and rubbing his cheek up against a tree, he would very easily pull that scab off. Or, like what's happened now, and this is what I think has happened, is that he's shown quite a bit of interest in Amber Eyes and he's mating with her. And we know that sometimes it can be a little bit aggressive, and I think that she's given him a swipe across the face, whether it was her or other, one of the other lionesses at the buffalo carcass and that scab has then been removed. But it'll be fine. The flies are bothering him a bit today. Let's just hope that he doesn't get another bout of the myasis. And then he's also got another little injury above his right eye, but that's not too serious. That was probably also from a paw to the face. But he's a tough boy. He's now proven himself worthy. 
of the Nkuhuma lionesses. You've been through a couple of battles, haven't you, my friend? Hello, Rob from Liverpool. Now, speaking of that buffalo that I just mentioned, uh, Rob was wondering if the single lioness had uh, joined up with the rest of the pride or if the rest of the pride had joined her and feasted on her kill. She has indeed. So Amber Eyes is here now with Mfumo, and I believe that the rest of them and the cubs are actually just behind us. So we'll probably take a swing around there in a moment. There are just a few vehicles in the sighting and they are all spread out so it's quite nice that we sort of just take turns. And I think that this would be the perfect opportunity now to actually do a little switcheroo.